Hi everyone, welcome to Technical Apple. In this video we are going to discuss about performance testing, the most important part of RP. How the bot will test in real time environment, how the performance will be calculated, how the accuracy has been confirmed. So when we talk about performance, the first and main thing is accuracy. Suppose I am creating a bot, think about that, I am creating a bot with data processing or data capturing data capturing and processing 10 lakhs records within 17 minutes so I had completed my bot development that bot will do only data capturing and data processing of 10 lakhs records so, so bot is using few concepts maybe you are using a BP or a for any tools so it's processing 10 lakh records within 70 minutes so probably how it how we can calculate so if it is called if it is the same 10 lakh records how manual will be doing so in manually think about that in manually they can done with two hours this processing or else three hours so whatever it may be so my single bot it's completing within 70 to 80 minutes let me tell again so in manually they are completed three hours in this process but a single bot has been completed 70 to 80 minutes of average for this process the entire process so the performance level it would be good it would be good suppose manually they completed within the 90 minutes my bot is completed 70 to 80 minutes that's really good this is really extraordinary is that's really this is really good so I'm not worrying about timings because if it is proper delays I will tell you an example so I'm doing I have some excel seeds which means 10 different excel sheets so what is copying and processing and doing formulas in one excel sheet and copying the same data into the another excel sheet so whatever it will take the auto sum and everything the manual f whatever the manual effort it will take 10 minutes the same bottle has to took 10 minutes if I reduce as a 5 minutes, then bot will not run in all the environment. Maybe slowness, server slowness, if server is very slow, it will not run. 
when system is very slow it will not run then your tool has some performance degrade it will not run so probably how the bot will always run properly you have to give the proper delays in all environments suppose you are developing a environment which is good maybe which is not good that is not a problem but bot has to run all the environment this is the main performance testing if you develop the bot it has to run in you are developing a bot with a with a system one one system development system same has to be run at least three to four systems in the environment and two systems in uat or user acceptance system and at least five systems in sat environment sat and two systems in uat and finally one or two systems in which means server in fraud environment so if it is running properly there is no problem and performance will be good otherwise we have to change the way of behavior the way of delays the way of coding so bot has to run sometimes bot will not run all the environment the same way so what we will do is we have to enhance our code we have to change some modules we have to suppose suppose you are using aa or ppr ua but whatever the tool in a page in aa more than 500 or 800 lines of coding you are doing so probably split into two or three tasks sub tasks that will work on it sometimes you are using more than 5 to 10 sessions within a component so that is not good so some session crash will happen so it it will not work the performance will be degrade so probably use one or two sessions within a task if you are using more than two sessions sessions may be excel session or else csv sessions whatever it may be you have to split into another two sessions and do it again and split into some more tasks so that would be good, good practice if you are using blue prism don't go with very big flow split in split your flow and make it another page if you are using about the same thing i'm doing you are using another flow chart or another sequence so or else you are using you can use audio framework to dividing the system into the entire things so this is the way we can increase performance that would be really good so the second thing the cost so when we talk about cost my bot is running so here my example so manually it was taken 3 hours my bot has taken 70 to 80 minutes average to complete the entire process so but my recruitment is not this is my recruitment is my bot has to complete at least 30 minutes or 35 minutes so probably how i can do is i can take two robots license in a server so probably it will run within 30 minutes within 30 to 35 minutes it will complete two robots as a 70 minutes sub average suppose my recruitment is my robo has to complete at least 15 minutes so this is my recruitment so probably i will how i will do is i will i will use three robots so this is my recruitment put it to 20 minutes i will use three robots and running in a server then probably it will complete put into 20 minutes to complete 
this data capturing process so it's all about cost performance cost efficiency see if uh, it's it's all about cost is not all about the fte fte is different so i had explained the different video how the fte calculation is done and all. you can you can check that video see the second thing is efficiency how bot is running so when we calculate performance it has to run 24 bot 7 this is the main, main thing if it is running 24 bot 7 the efficiency will be remain it must be remain same suppose your core application has down in 20 hours your application suppose you are using three applications to process your bot so maybe sap application or else your banking domain applications so whatever it may be application is down in 20 hours four hours only that remaining four hours three bots are running so how the efficient way it's running so that is very important sometimes because of your application slowness your bot will terminate or bot will not run properly in that case application has to be modified or else if application has to be not modified then probably some tweaks had to be done in code how the tweaks will had to be done suppose um, think think through that you had completed your production production is running good now uh, completed 30 days of production in performance everything is good after 30 days or 45 days some your bot is not running properly so if application behavior is going down as well the the problem will be raised complaint will be raised by bot the they will tell a bot is not running properly so probably how we can do it we have to be we have to do some tweaks how how the tweaks will so we have the option to try so if any area so your bot will continuously sending so reports which means the logging and tracing reports which is which the area has to be failed and which area has to be running good so because of that you can create a retry mechanism of three times or four times whatever it may be suppose your bot is failing to sending attachment of email then probably that area only you can do the loop of the three or four times this retry count or retry mechanism will be updated in config file based on the config file it has to run and one more time one more thing you have to use the even watcher so even watcher is a nightmare it's a watcher so even viewer we can see even viewer or even watcher so every second how bot is running if anything happen it will send immediately email to the bot owner or else developer or else admin in production environment you can use even watcher or even viewer so this is the one option so this is the way we can avoid or else we can do some tweaks even if the problem happen in production as well and the third thing is if you are using if you are make sure the audit complaints it is also improve your performance so all the auditing complaints which means sox uh, in us project they have sox complaints in user id password and ssn number and this type of things will not be captured by bot in anywhere in anything even though the errors happen so this is the thing you have to improve your bot the the, the fourth thing is change management if anything happen Uh, any integration or else uh, application change or application application version change so everything come under the change management so you can't touch anything in your bot in your running bot if if 
any of your application has been changed. If application has been changed, then what will happen? If any buttons or text boxes or anything, even small change happened as well, what will happen? You have to change your entire code or its particular area of the code. Then you have to start with development, SAT, UAT, and deployment and production and go live. These five life cycle I'm, I'm talking about, I think, Dev, SAT, UAT, deployment. Production and go live. So these are all the before go live, that is mini go live. These are all the process of the bot bot processing will be happen again once change management performance has been change management as request has been traced. So this is the process. This is the uh, thing we are followed in real-time environment of the performance that you know. Thanks, hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can raise your. Thank you so much.